I might want to get some coffee real fast. Uh, I don't know what kind of bacteria I am. I just got to decide my nutrition first. Oh, hi. Today we're going to talk about bacteria nutrition. There, there are basically four different possibilities. And and this really boils down. It, it can be chemoautotrophs, chemoheterotrophs, uh, photoautotrophs, photoheterotrophs. And, and really, once you break this down into understanding the two factors that we use to classify the bacteria, it'll be very easy to understand this. It'll be very, very simple. So let's get into it. There are two sort there are two factors that allow us to determine or classify the bacteria, bacteria's nutrition source. So first is its carbon source, and the second is its energy source. So carbon source, if it's an autotroph, it's it's using carbon dioxide as its carbon source. If it's heterotroph, it just means that it's getting its carbon from another animal. It's consuming something to get, get its carbon. And then we have and the energy source, which means that if it's if it's a chemotroph, it's get, get, it's getting its energy from chemicals, and if it's an energy source, if its energy source is from sunlight, it's called a phototroph. And and remember that the, the word troph is in Latin, just translates for eat. So that makes that makes sense. And remember when we come down to these words over here, these these seemingly confusing words, just remember that these suffixes. The first suffix that comes inside is the reference to the energy source, and the second suff uh, suffix that comes inside is the carbon source. So, they're totally. So let's think about it. We can have a chemo autotroph. Now that would mean, whoops, look at that. That would mean that the carbon source itself, or let's start with the energy source, is from the is from the chemicals itself, and the auto auto just stands for the carbon dioxide is being used to as a carbon source. So it's essentially building its organic macromolecules from carbon dioxide using the energy from, from chemicals. And, and you could probably understand this now. This is the same word. And the only difference is the hetero. And the only difference essentially is that it's getting its carbon from animals. And then we have photoautotrophs. Photo standing from, okay, energy sources from the sunlight. Auto, meaning that the carbon dioxide is its carbon source. And troph means eat. Okay, that makes sense. Pretty simple. And then hetero is just a difference of the uh, carbon source. And that, and that just means that, hey, look, we have the photo energy source is sunlight. And the heterotroph means that the carbon, carbon source is from other animals. Very simple. So here is a question that will hopefully help us understand your if we understand this or not. So a bacteria causes infection in reptile blood. Based on this information, what kind of bacteria is this? Okay. Well, let's think about it. Because this bacteria is inside the reptile blood, it doesn't have access to light in the first place. So let's get rid of the options with phototroph for anything with photo on it. So three and four are gone. So this means it could be either one and two, and that means that its, its energy source is from chemicals itself. But we also realize that it's inside that it's inside the the inside a living organism. So it's it can be auto because it's not using carbon dioxide. It's probably using the reptiles the reptiles a uh, carbon. So there you go, hetero. So it's going to be chemo heterotroph because it's using chemicals as an energy source and it's using is use is basically a parasite really it's, it's just using the bacteria or it's just using the reptiles reptiles uh, body as a source of energy and also a carbon source